branches of agriculture. You see, Sam, the best farmers really are the most learned ones, as agriculture borrows a lot from other disciplines, including mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, geography, and economics. Wow! I didn't realize agriculture was such an enormous and sophisticated discipline. Where do you even start? I am glad you are starting to get it. A good place to start would be going over the different main branches, which include crop production, livestock production, soil science, agricultural economics, and agricultural engineering. Crop production, you say? Let's start from there. Well, crop farming or arable farming is the production of crops on cultivated land. These crops can be grown either in pure stands, which is called monocropping, or mixed stands, which is called intercropping. Oh, so all those small plots I passed on my way to school with maize, beans, potatoes, bananas, and sweet potatoes. Are those all mixed stands? They certainly are. There are two main types of crop farming. That is, field crops and horticultural crops. Field crops are grown on large pieces of land and are either annual, like cereals and pulses, or perennial, like coffee, tea, sugarcane, and sisal. Wow! So without field crops, Mze wouldn't be able to get his Kenya cane. Ha ha ha. Mze, huh? what are horticultural crops then? Well, this is actually also a pretty big category. Horticultural crops are any perishable crops. These include floriculture, which is the growing of flowers, pomology, which is the growing of fruits like avocados. Great and olericulture, which is the growing of vegetables like cabbages and tomatoes. But Mze, mm -hmm. how will I remember all that? Easy! Floriculture, think of F for flowers. Olericulture, think of onion for vegetables. And pomology, think of pineapple. I quite don't understand. Why would we grow flowers, yet I see them on the roadside? <laughs> well, actually, horticultural crops have been growing in popularity in Kenya recently. They have become a major export commodity. This means it allows Kenya to earn substantial foreign exchange currencies, which we can use to buy things from other countries. I see. Hmm. Mze? Mm -hmm. What about cows and sheep? Is that a type of farming? You bet! That is livestock farming. Specifically, that is called pastoralism or mammalian livestock farming, which is the practice of rearing farm animals on pastures. Look at this photo of the general mammalian livestock. That is a nice photo. Do people raise any other animals? Yes. Farmers also rear fish in ponds a practice known as aquaculture. And believe you me, this type of farming is gaining more and more popularity in Kenya since more people are consuming fish today. Hmm. If fish can be considered livestock, mm -hmm. then I guess beekeeping is also a type of livestock farming, right? Correct, guys. Farmers rear bees to harvest honey and wax for sale. Aren't you forgetting the obvious? Rearing of chicken? Wow, you are not as dumb as I thought. Yes, chicken are the most popular birds reared by farmers in Kenya for meat and eggs. Other poultry farmers keep ducks, turkeys, geese, and ostriches. Ostriches, you say? Surprise, surprise. Now, farmers who want to succeed must learn about agricultural economics. Agricultural economics help farmers decide how to utilize the scarce resources at their disposal in order to maximize output while minimizing costs. Mm -hmm. You also need to know how to use and maintain different tools, machines, 
and structures for different types of farming. This is where agricultural engineering comes in. Mze? Yes? Just listening to this is boring. Could we go to your old farm? Absolutely. We'll go tomorrow. Okay.